funny. Um, I'm going to follow her uh, speech a little bit about following your dreams and anything is possible. I'll tell you my story. I can always give a success story like Oprah or others. Those are very successful stories. But people always like to hear personal stories. And uh, mine is simple, is I was four, I was standing in the living room, slash kitchen, slash mother's bedroom, but whatever. Um, and I was looking at my mom and my siblings and I was like, this is not going to be my life. I will have it all. As a woman, I will have it all. Success, a husband, kids, houses, trips, I'm a woman, but I can still have it all. So I was four. At 12, I was in a history class, but the teacher is obsessed about money, so he's talking about stocks. And I'm 12, and I'm like, can I buy stocks? Can I buy Pe Pepsi stocks right now? TD, World Bank, right now, I'm 12. And they were like, no, you need to be 18. So now, today, I'm not in my 20s, um, <laughs> I'm an investment advisor, international speaker, author, and the only woman in Quebec with the title of CDFA, which is Certified Divorce Financial Analyst. <laughs> and Anthony, my photographer, told me to stop speaking once in a while. No, I <laughs> okay, so uh, we have a few minutes. Um, so as an investment advisor, I work mostly with wealthy individuals with a million dollars or more on investments. Of course, I make exceptions for the entrepreneurs or professionals who want seriously to build wealth. Um, as a CDFA, I work with lawyers and mediators to figure out the financial aspects of a divorce. But my passion is financial education. Um, since, because of my background, came from a really poor family, and I was four, and I wanted success. So that's, you know, that's, that I've been building towards that. Financial education is really important because you have to remember there's 1.9 million women in Canada living in poverty. And how do you change those, that cycle of poverty? Is by education. Of course, the personal choice. Making a budget, having a financial plan, having an investment advisor is a choice. It's a, it's a conscious decision that you have to make. Right, that I'm going to build wealth, I'm going to make the effort, I'm going to budget. Um, financial education is very important to start as young as possible. That's why I've created my workshops and my book, Wealth 101 for Teenagers. And when I have a table in the back, um, and my books are there. But my workshops are really important because it's young with our first job that we create that habit, the spending, the credit cards, the, uh, the, the, the bankruptcies. It's, it's really, really young. In my book, I talk about my 15-year-old. He thought, at 18, with a part-time job, he will be able to move out on his own, in an apartment, and have a car. So I was like, first of all, read my book. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the financial education doesn't rub off, right? I've been in this field for 15 years, it doesn't rub off. So I told him, read my book, and come to one of my workshops, and he did. And now what he tells me is that, Mama, I'm going to stay with you until I'm done university because I don't want to be poor. <laughs> so um, I can talk all night about financial education, but it is my passion. That's why I'm creating workshops beside my job. I, I do that on, as well on the weekends. Uh, it's really important, um, but no matter what age you are, it's never too late. So follow your dreams, follow your passion, but with a budget. Thank you.